Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Slightly bit of sleep last night. I am still on daily shaves. I was going to leave it a couple of days, but I stuff it, I can't help myself. And I feel a bit rough actually. I think the more you shave every day, the more rough you feel if you let it just grow a little bit. So as you can see, I've got a fair bit of growth there for about 24 hours roughly. I am going to use another Swedish Witch Shaving Soap. This one is Fresh Citrus. This one does have a real sort of natural clean citrus hit to it. Very, doesn't smell like Gronlika bergamot grape. I think it's bergamot grape, is it? Doesn't smell quite like that, but it does have that real natural scent and it's really nice. Light scent, probably like a three or 3.5 out of 10, you know, it's, it's not super strong, but it's strong enough. The brush and the rotation for this shave is my West Coast Shaving Psychedelic Range brush. This one is the tie dye. I believe these are still available on West Coast Shaving. And I think a full price, they're about 60 bucks or something, 56, 60 bucks, I can't remember. But this is an excellent brush. I'm gonna leave it reasonably wet. There is the knot flicked out. It's got a 24 millimeter high density silver tip knot. Now, when I say high density, it's not as dense obviously as a rodeo knot or a, uh, Simpson knot or even the declaration grooming but it is still quite a dense knot I would say this knot is actually denser than the unique silver tip that is made by Burned over at Shadeback this is a very very nice knot it's got a lovely lovely scrub there's no scritchy scratch with it which I, something I look for in a, a natural hair knot I'm not interested in scritchy scratchy brushes but I do like the scrub and if it's a softish scrub then that's all the better for me. I do prefer synthetics for lathering, it's just it's plain and simple. They create a better lather, it's easier, it's far more consistent. And I still stand by my, I challenge anyone with a natural hair brush and me with a synthetic. And I think I would win every time. With creating a lather in terms of the quality of the lather or the density, however it wanted to go. I think I could make a better lather with a synthetic brush than I could with someone else's natural hair. That being said, these natural hair brushes work brilliantly. So it's it's not a, a knock on natural hair brushes. It's just that synthetic brushes just work better. Yeah. There's no sort of, there's no sort of guessing with a natural hair, with a synthetic brush, it's, they don't absorb water for a start, so you never, you can't like have an overhydrated knot or anything like that, really. I mean, of course you can have too much water in the knot and that can cause you as many problems as a dry knot, really, but really slick this thing. Now this is, once again, this is the lard variant of the Swedish Witch. So the same as the black pepper that I just recently used. Now, so far, and I'm just going off memory mainly and how things felt and worked. I found and have found that the vegetal base is better for me. But let's just see how we go with this one. Citrus. Now it's quite a green citrus. It's, it's almost got a sort of... A leafy type, like the citrus that you get out of the leaves of an orange tree or a lemon tree when you crunch the leaf up in your fingers. It's got that sort of scent to it. So I don't know whether there's a little bit more to this than meets the eye. I don't think it's just pure citrus essential oils. There might be some neroli or some oil from the leaves of a lemon tree or sort of a lime tree, you know, I'm not sure. But it is very, very nice. The quality of the soap it isn't really questionable, I think it's excellent quality soap, I think it's very slick, it's easy to lather, that's one key factor with this soap, it's easy to work with, easy to lather, and it's consistent, no matter the brush that I've used really. I have struggled with most soaps lately, with head lathers, but the one that I did with this soap recently was, was absolutely fine. A 
Oh, my more water. Right on the wall. Now, if I was using the feather today, I would actually work this a little bit longer and paint some more water into it. But as it is, I'm using the carve. So I'm going to stick with it at that. You can see there's far too much soap. Or is there? Is there such a thing as far too much soap? I don't really think there is, to be honest. There we go. Right. So the razor is the carve Christopher Bradley razor. And it's got a very many use. Oh, I say very many, quite a lot of use. Oh, it's actually I've I've actually put the wisdomet in this one, so I think this will be its seventh shave on this wisdomet blade. I haven't had an issue with it yet. It's been super smooth every single shave so far, including in the leaf razor. So overall, brilliant blades. Here we go. I've got the A plate on here today, mainly because. I've been having such smooth, irritation-free shaves with the feather. I don't want to spoil it all by jumping straight back in with a C-plate. And I'm finding these Wizomet blades to be exceptional quality. I've heard a lot about them being the same blade as a Paul Silver. I haven't actually read up on Paul Silver's yet to see whether they're made by Gillette. I don't actually know if they are or not. If they are made by Gillette and they're a very similar shave to this, it would sort of make me agree that they're probably the same blade in the sense that they're discontinued Wizomets and you can still get Paul Silvers for the same blade. Do you know something? Straight razor shaving and chevette shaving really, really alters your technique for the better when it comes to shaving with strip with DE razors and single edge razors because just little things like that just stretching when I'm coming up stretching when I'm coming up I wonder if that's going to make a difference now to any weepers that I would normally get I can tell you right now, this lather is far too dry to use with a chevet. Of course, I could shave with it with a chevet. It just wouldn't, wouldn't be as comfortable, I don't think, as it would be with a wet lather.
So far, so good. I feel much more, believe it or not, much more in control of that razor now than I did before I started learning with that Chevet. It's, uh, I can, I'm actually feeling quite a discernible difference. It feels, if I feel more like a master of the razor rather than the razor just being a, I mean, that's a heavy razor, it's 90, 93 grams, I think. Now just to give you some, I think it's 93 grams for this one. This is a 3.25 inch stainless and I think the 3.25 inch aluminium is 37 grams and the titanium is 53. So, considering my preference of all the ones I've tried so far, the aluminium is the best because it's lighter and I control it. This is the first time I've used this stainless and really felt at one with it and felt like I'm controlling it more than it's controlling me. This is fantastic. I think I may have just caught myself there. And it was, that was all just uh, probably an excitement thing of, I'm actually, I can't believe how nice this feels. I've got zero irritation that I can feel. Okay, I take it back. I thought I was getting closer with my feather. I, I can't get a shape anywhere near this good with the feather at the moment. I will get there hopefully, but at the moment, I'm, this the grab is just sensational that shape. One week away. Well, sometimes things just seem to work out perfectly, for whatever reason. Other than that one weeper there, I think that's pretty close to the best shave I've ever had. If if not, the best shave I've ever had. I know I had one tiny weeper in here. That was quick, super efficient, extremely close, and hardly, there was a tiny here. Hardly any irritation whatsoever. Just rinse this brush out. Yeah, this is a, a great little brush. A really, really nice brush. West Coast Shaving sent me this a long, long time ago. It's one of those ones that 
it stuck around with it because I, I love the handle. I do love that real bright pink. But the knot is brilliant. I mean, the handle could be great and have a shit knot, and I would never use it. But because the knot is so good, so definitely worth the money. Albeit that this was sent for review, basically. And I know that a lot of people give all this stuff away, but sometimes you get something and you just you can't. I mean, the thing is, I could give that away, buy another one, and it might not be as good. Because not every knot is the same. It's certainly nothing. Oh, it's still a bit of soap in it. Nothing like synthetic brushes where you get pretty much 100% consistency all the time. It's probably 99% because you will get a dug knot no matter what it's made with. knots are you can beat the shit out of them on the towel and they don't shed like this I hardly lost a hair from this to be honest that's a that's a, such a good shave I'm just gonna wet my hands now grab my AP Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentrate Serum which is lasting very 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 well As much as I'm enjoying the Chevette, I, I do I come back to the car from nearly every razor that I've used and it just wins me over every single time I use it. It's just such a good razor and really great silk, great brush, great razor, superb blade, fantastic shave. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.